Well, in case you didn't know it, Top Gun Maverick out today. Lots of people have already seen it, including our next guest. So if you are excited for the big movie, you get to meet a real life Top Gun pilot right here on our show. So I want to introduce Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Bolin. Tom, not only are you a pilot that has been through all this training, but you're also a good friend of mine. So it's fun to have you on and get to talk to you a little bit about all of this. First things first, the call sign. I've actually always wondered, <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, so it's Thomas Loaf. I call you Tom. That's right. Bolin. Yep. What's loaf? <laughs> so, uh, it's, there's a lot of good stories out there. Mine isn't that great. Uh, I was a new guy. I showed up as T-Bone. That was way too cool to be a new guy with that call sign. So, uh, I became Meatloaf, and then eventually just became Loaf. And now, 15 year, years later, who knew? That yeah. That was going to be the like thing. You're like not near as cool as T-Bone would That's have right. been. Yeah, whatever. Exactly. On the show this morning, our executive producer wakes us all up, and he's like, I've got call signs for everyone. So I've been sunshine so far. Does that work? I think so. <laughs> I yeah, think that fits. Works. I'm not necessarily bringing the sunshine to San Diego right now, but I hope I can throughout Memorial Day weekend. So as we talk about seeing Top Gun, everybody's getting so excited. Obviously, it celebrates naval aviation. Mm -hmm. So you fly the F-18. Well, you got to go see this movie. You saw it. Was it this week that you saw it? Yeah, Tuesday. What would you think? Uh, it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, you know, being, uh, having done that uh, hundreds of times, uh, it's still just seeing the opening scene gets you excited. Uh, very realistic as far as the flight deck goes. Uh, the flying scenes were awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's exhilarating. One of the best sequels I've seen. Talk about your training in Top Gun and what you did for Top Gun training and compared to the movie. Does obviously Hollywood does what Hollywood does, right. but they're working really hard to do their research. Do they do a good job? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of, um, just like we were talking about before, there's a lot of good things in the movie that very much reflect the mm -hmm. training that we go through. Uh, obviously, there's a Hollywood story involved, so it's not 100% uh, accurate, but uh, as far as the emphasis that, that they put on the Top Gun pilots, uh, the Strike Fighter Tactics Instructors is really what Top Gun makes, uh, and the baseline of that is the instructing and the, and the teaching that those uh, aviators go back to the fleet and bring. So with the storyline of uh, a high profile mission, we need the best uh, individuals to fly this mission. Uh, yeah, I would say that's, uh, that's very uh, realistic. Yeah. Uh, and the emphasis that those uh, pilots get from the higher levels of leadership, uh, absolutely, that, that goes on uh, real time today. Yeah. It celebrates our naval aviation it here does, in San for Diego sure. for sure. Really interesting, you're actually a Marine. So am, yeah. talk a little bit about that. You're yep. a Marine who went through Top Gun training. Mostly we hear about Navy pilots going through Top Gun training. So obviously it's evolving quite a bit. It is, so I mean, all the way back to really 1986, so there's been this thing called TAC Air Integration, where Marine pilots have been on aircraft carriers to help the Navy with uh, uh, air wing, uh, just having squadrons available for air wings. Okay. Uh, so currently, there's anywhere from three to four Marine aviators on the Top Gun staff as far as instructors go. Okay. Uh, and the entire, entire time since really 86 and on, uh, we've been sending Marine uh, aviators to Top Gun. Uh, to be those training officers to come back to the fleet. Okay. Uh, currently, we've got a, a squadron, the first uh, Marine F-35C squadron, uh, out deployed. They've got two SFTIs, okay. uh, which goes directly to uh, the third MA kind of deployment readiness uh, and during priorities of Top Gun making instructors to go back and help the uh, the Navy uh, Marine Corps team. We're talking about our top pilots around the country, many of them based sure. right here in San Diego. So yep. it's really cool to just celebrate you guys, celebrate this new movie, get to have some fun, and finally enjoy your training. I feel like yep. when you get to watch this movie, you finally get to enjoy all the hard work that you've put into it. You said when we were talking a couple days ago, you know, it's you go through this training and you dream of it as a little boy, and when you're in it, you're enjoying it, but you're also just trying to pass. That's exactly <laughs> right. It is a, it is a stressful uh, you know, three months of training that you go through. Um, you know, when you and I were talking, there's, there's moments, it's, it's great, it's incredible, and you see those scenes of flying in the movie, uh, but when you're going through it, uh, in the back of your mind, hey, can I make this, can I do, th do this flight, am I going to wash out, uh, and maybe you don't get to thoroughly enjoy uh, the training that you go do, and then you look back and you're like, wow, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. You know, many little boys, little girls, not only have they seen Top Gun, the first one, they're going to see this movie, and they're like, I want to fly one of those jets. How cool is that? And they dream about it. You're, you're doing it now. So was that your dream as a little boy as well? Yeah, it, uh, it really was. Uh, I'd say probably since about 14, I knew I wanted to go be an aviator, uh, see the Blue Angels, seen the first Top Gun movie. Um, and luckily, it just kind of it worked out for me, um, and here I am. It's uh, it's been pretty surreal. Yeah. yeah. So many changes happening um, when we talk about recruitment as well with mm -hmm. the Navy. So much diversity in this movie. Do mm -hmm. you think this movie coming out, seeing 
diversity, females in the cockpit, that's going to change who our best aviators might be uh, right here in San Diego for years to come. I think so, yeah. It's going to be uh, uh, my humble prediction, a huge uh, recruitment tool for the Navy. Uh, the Air Force is utilizing uh, spots up front for it, so uh, Marine Corps, Navy, absolutely. And when you talk about uh, female pilots, like there are uh, a handful of female uh, Top Gun um, uh, patch wearers out there as well. Cool. So uh, that diversity is continuing. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, Tom, thank you so much for being here with us and just chatting about your experience. And um, this movie is so cool. I'm awesome. excited for it. You've got two people in this room have flown with the blues before. And so we love naval aviation. We love celebrating our military here in San Diego. I pulled less G's than Raul. I know That's he's right. going to talk about it forever I'm until sorry, we're on this show. <laughs> he is 7.6. 6.7 is not too bad. That's and neither good. of us passed yeah, out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but 7.6 is better. <laughs> okay. It's a higher number, yes. <laughs> I will say Raul's video is better than mine because I flew in 2011 and those GoPros, man, they just yeah. weren't high quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like I my know. videos from yeah, like the 80s. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's amazing stuff. Uh, you guys, thank you so much. It's